Gilead is developing an array of products for viral diseases that previously had been untreatable or only uh, modestly uh, treated by existing therapeutics. Viruses have been largely unconquered by modern medicine, and we think that over time, the approach of using nucleotides and other advances in biotechnology, uh, we can overcome this historical impediment to developing effective antiviral medicines. And uh, I think that that, uh, that recognition will grow over time as we report on the progress of our clinical trials. How would you compare uh, other biotech companies or pharmaceutical companies that are doing work in AIDS specifically? What sets you apart? The molecules that we're testing for AIDS, and we have one molecule in, in clinical testing now and another one that will start shortly, uh, these, are the molecules, these molecules are the first of their kind to be tested against uh, the AIDS virus in humans. And these molecules are very potent inhibitors of the enzymes that the AIDS virus uses to replicate its own genetic material. And in animal studies of retroviral infections, and the AIDS virus is a retrovirus, uh, these molecules have been shown to be very potent, more potent than uh, drugs like AZT. We are now testing to see if, if that is borne out in human uh, clinical trials. On the one hand, you're concerned the administration may put a cap on drug prices. On the other hand, I think the Food and Drug Administration, which is part of the administration, has been better, and I want your opinion on this, in terms of pushing through speedier approvals for things like AIDS therapeutics. How do you react to that? Clearly, the FDA has placed uh, as high priority the review of therapeutic candidates in the area of AIDS and in other uh, very severe and life-threatening diseases. And I think that has been reflected now in the turnaround time of review of uh, products and development in uh, particularly the AIDS category. Recently, the uh, Department of Health and Human Services has announced a new panel uh, that will include input from the FDA, from the National Institutes of Health and other uh, sectors to try to further accelerate the development and review of uh, AIDS therapeutic candidates. And I think in, in the best case, that kind of close scrutiny by a very high-level panel will result in further acceleration and that will benefit uh, patients. What will be your financing plans for the next year or so in terms of how you will finance? What will be your needs for financing and what you suspect your burn rate will be? As I mentioned, given the number of product candidates we, candidates we have in development, our expenses will go up, and that's based upon the need to develop these for multiple indications in different geographic areas. We hope to offset that by entering into alliances with other companies that can help fund development and share in the marketing uh, responsibilities. And it's quite possible that we raise, we'll raise additional equity. Uh, that all depends upon uh, market conditions and our uh, cash, uh, cash projections. Given the importance of health care reform and various industry associations, um, I would assume Gilead wants to take a leadership role. Uh, are there any things you're doing in particular uh, to try and kind of rally the flag, if you will, to get investors more interested and also to take a leadership role in making sure that health care reform benefits the biotech industry? At Gilead, we think it's important to be good citizens and to make sure that our representatives, uh, senators and uh, congresspeople, uh, know the issues that are important uh, in terms of fostering the further development of the biotechnology industry, which I think most people recognize now as a major asset of the United States.